The following program is paid for by the Real Estate Radio Network. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Fresno on 105.9 The FM KMJ. Now, live in studio, your host, local real estate expert, Craig Barton. Good morning, Central Valley. I am your host, Craig Barton, and welcome to the Real Estate Radio Network, the most important hour of radio each week here on 105.9 The FM KMJ. Real Estate Radio is a show dedicated to bringing some rational thought to the crazy world that we live in and helping you to rebuild the Central Valley's housing and credit markets. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted advice, and that's exactly what you are going to hear every Sunday morning right here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. You like the music, do you? I do. I do. I <laughs> you, do. Were just, you were just rocking out. Was. Huh? It's the beautiful weather. It's Sunday morning. Everything's, it feels like, does it feel like the world to you is just rotating the way it should be? Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I not so I'll much? I'll tell you this afternoon You're, when I'm watching the, fo- uh, the football when, game. When you're in the football <laughs> game, yeah. What yeah, time's your Super Bowl party start? I, I, I actually, you're going to laugh. What? I don't care. You don't- <laughs> I don't care about <laughs> football. I've been invited <laughs> to like five different places. And really, all I want to do is hold my grandson and have a beer. Really? Well, I mean, not at the same time, okay. but a beer for the festivities. I don't know if you could say that on air. Oh, okay. okay coffee. Hey, co- there you go. All right. Yeah, and, and play with my grandson. Sweet. I could really care less about it. It doesn't take much to make you happy. It doesn't. That's okay. If they want to bring me some potato chips or something, I'm cool with that. That means you're not a complicated... Well, anyways. I am complicated, (laughs) just not when it comes to football. (laughs) I actually wish both teams very much luck. They're they're related, you know. We're going to talk about that a little bit Awesome, awesome. Awesome. As always, it's so great to have my licensed realtor cohort, Michelle Pettis-Cavalli, here in the studio with us. We're talking about my real estate license, right? Yeah. Because my driver's license expired. (laughs) <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good to know. I gotta, All right. I, fix I will not be writing with you anytime soon, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Well, you know, the Real Estate Radio Network gives us, Michelle and I, the opportunity to reach so many people efficiently for one full hour each and every week, as long as we can stay on topic and on track. Oh, man. Our goal with the Real Estate Radio Network is to get you, our listeners, the timely and accurate truth about your local real estate market so we can help bring you back home for the football game back home for the football game yeah (laughs) there's a lot of responsibility there you know when we say the timely and accurate truth about your local real estate market Mm -hmm. that means a lot to me and i'm not just saying that because our goal our job is to try to get the word out about what's going on in our local real estate market and how can we put you Back in the saddle and bring you Mm -hmm. back home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, good deal. Let's take a look at today's show. We're going to take a look at some of the top stories in the news. We're also going to spend a little time talking about today's itty-bitty football game that will be watched by millions and millions of people Mm. worldwide. Also, did you know that economic growth shrinks in the fourth quarter, the last quarter of 2012, and what that means for our market recovery? Also, 2012 home sales, best in five years. Can we hear it? Yeehaw! Yeehaw! That's awesome. Johnny, do you have any, uh, like, uh, audience applaud? Yeah? Uh, yeah. There you go. There nice we go. job, Johnny. And the U.S. finalizes rules for financial firms to avoid foreclosures. They're doing about all they can to make sure to keep you in your home. Really? Yep. Okay, I believe you. And there's sort a new of. plan for a California county to use eminent domain to seize trouble mortgages yeah we really dun, 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 yeah, dun. That, yeah that's yeah, i'm not that's hearing a, that's i'm hearing problem. really ugliness there right we're also going to take some listener questions make your make sure you stay with us again if you have any real estate or mortgage related questions or questions regarding the information that michelle or myself share with you on our show it all starts with one call we'd love to hear from you call us anytime 800-979-3958 again that's 800-979-3958 you can also check out our resources online Look for your new home. Take a look at our listings. Wow. At reofresnohomes.com. Again, that's reofresnohomes.com. To friend us on Facebook, use press four keywords. Friend Valley Wide on Facebook. Or use press four keywords. KMJ call Valley Wide. To call into our show anytime. And just a real quick props to press four. Press four is for all those times you're away from the computer and you like us to share information with you from our show. All you need to do is go to your app store, whether you've got an iPhone or an Android phone. Download the free application. 
call in, in other words, hit that little orange ball under press four, and it's going to ask you for your keywords. So if you say KMJ call Valley Wide, it's going to ask you, did you say KMJ call Valley Wide? And you say yes, and it will call in to the show. So if you use our keywords, it will perform a function that it's pre-programmed to do. So all you have to do is call in and say KMJ Hot Property, and it will email you information about today's hot property. Pretty cool deal. Mm -hmm. And it is free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at today's hot property. Today's hot property is brought to you by Perfect Inspections. Whether your property is residential, multifamily, or commercial, use press four keywords, Perfect Home Inspections. Or call Jerry Schooley today for your Perfect Home Inspection at 352-6941. Again, that's 352-6941. I'm really excited about this property, and I tell you what. It is, this, this doggone home is located at 3360 Buckingham Avenue in Clovis. This property was appraised at $308,000. This, pro this property was built in 2009. It is 2,740 square feet, four bedroom, three bath. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is, and I mean this, it is move in condition. Absolutely move in, move in condition. It was appraised with an FHA appraisal. All it needs is carbon monoxide detectors, and you're good to go. And isn't this one of uh, a Wilson home? No, this is a Wilson home. It's a Wilson built yep. home. It is a Wilson from built 09. home. From 09. So we're talking 2009. about. 2009. It's very new. It's three years three old. Three years ago. Yep. Wowzers. Three car garage. Three car garage. Gorgeous landscaping. Yep. This is this is a great property. It is a, huh? it is a HUD home. So mm -hmm. the previous buyer uh, did have, unfortunately, lost, okay. lost the property, did have mm -hmm. FHA financing on the property. Eligible for owner occupants only during the first 30 days. And we're talking Clovis Schools as we're well. We're talking correct? Clovis Schools. Nice. Clovis East is the mm -hmm. high school. Bidding deadline is February 8th at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that means anybody can visit this property between now yep. and February 8th. Mm -hmm. Only uh, owner-occupant bids are going to be looked at on correct. February 8th. So they have until February 8th. So no investors. Not, February 8th is Friday, February 8th. So it's this coming Friday okay. at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you got six days to get your bid in. Yep. Counting Friday. Yep. Awesome possum. Yep. Love it. Pretty cool deal. Mm-hmm. Again, if you have any questions about this hot property, please give us a call anytime, 800-979-3958, um, or use press four keywords, KMJ Hot Property, and we'll send you more information about this hot property right to your phone. Look for more hot properties each week right here on the Real Estate Radio Network. Well, let's take a look at some of the top stories in the news. Um, Bouncing along, 1,100, and I said bouncing along, the bouncing along the bottom. Well, because last week it was a little bit higher. Yeah, it was just, it was 1,108 listings. Now we're, oh no, no it was 1,122, 11 I think, 22. last week. Yeah, there you go. 1,108 active listings in Fresno County. Yeah, they're dwindling. Yeah, might as well be none. No. <laughs> I actually was, yeah, I was in Sanger yesterday with some clients, yeah. and we're in escrow on a house, and I was actually telling their parents, if you know of anybody needing to move a property, <laughs> please have them call us. You're because soliciting buyers like your for children, listings. <laughs> there's not enough out there. Yeah. You know, people are looking, and there's not enough homes. And if you have anybody who's questioning it, because I really do think the majority of the public is still kind of, not sure what waffling. to do. Yeah, they're still waffling about what to do. What a does short sell fence? mean to me? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think word of mouth is really the best because there's so many horror stories in the news. Well, don't you think, though, if someone is upside down, there's a greater likelihood that there's a chance that they're going to waffle? Well, yeah. Just human nature, right? But I think sometimes, again, analysis paralysis. Fear. Yeah, mm -hmm. fear causes people to not do anything, and they ask their friends, family, and those people close to them versus authorities out there in the market who might be able to share real true Current data, and and so that's my that's my concern. And Word of mouth is share it. Sure, let people know. You know, it's time to time to make decisions. And understand that there's no shame in asking the question. No, gosh, no. Yeah, gosh, part no. of that though is the fear, and and that there is it is to a great extent fear, and that there is shame in just asking the question. Mm -hmm. Don't like, be ashamed. Yeah, don't, don't be, be afraid. That's for sure. Bring it. Yeah. So there is a, a little game going on this afternoon. <gasps> three twenty one Central Standard. Excuse me. Three twenty one uh, Pacific Standard Time. What, it's called what kind the of game. Yeah, it's the Harbowl. Harbowl. Yeah, the Bro Bowl. The Bro Bowl. Yeah. The yeah. Ex bro. Explain. No. The, well, it's the, the Harbaugh's. It's the, the are Harbaugh's brothers. brothers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jim and John. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're brothers. Yeah. Don't you think that's a little? You know, what's Christmas going to be? What like do next you year? expect that they're going to think of? What's? What's? <laughs> I mean, not. I mean, really, truly. I mean, what? What's Christmas going to be like next year when one wins and one doesn't? I don't know. It's going to be it's a, a pretty competitive angst. household. Uh, both, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be a little scary. 
Yeah, I think I wouldn't want to be in that family. I think right one now. brother will do a little bit better with losing than the other. I'm just saying. Hmm, yeah. That'll be interesting. Yep, exactly. So we got the Super Bowl on this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure when you're out there, enjoy yourself. This should be an extremely exciting yeah, game. It'll I think be it's on a great while matchup. I'm sitting, hanging out with my grandson. Yeah, I'll watch the commercial. <laughs> that's the only thing I'll probably do. Don't you love okay. it? Yeah, exactly. Super Bowl ads. Well, there's going to be a ton of Super Bowl ads. Did you hear like $4 million for 30 yeah. seconds? $4 million. And I was only charging $5 million for 30 seconds on our show. Uh, yeah. They're just <laughs> a little behind is that, us. Is that why that there's so few advertisers on our hey, show? Hey, hey, hey now. <laughs> I think we have some great advertisers on our show. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, there are certain Super Bowl um, advertisers that you would consider to be staples. Regulars? Yeah, regulars. The regulars? Yeah. Anheuser-Busch. Oh, that would be the beer I'm going to drink exactly. on Sunday. Remember, awesome, possum. Remember, with the dog and the horse and, mm-hmm. you know, and playing and football. And the lizards in the swamp mm-hmm. and the frogs. Yeah, they've had tons every year. Bug. So amazing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Didn't last year they have their horses on? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Doritos. Remember last year they had the one where the little dog was chasing after the guy and then then uh, knocked in the door the the slider. It was like a little pug and the 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 slider falls on the guy and the little pug standing on top of the. I remember door, it vaguely, you know. but I I must have. Yeah, so obviously you didn't. You're not a big Doritos fan. Not a big Doritos fan. GoDaddy.com. Oh yeah. yeah, that one every year it cracks me up. Yeah, it's a it's amazing. It's a staple now, yep. and it's only been around how many years? Ten, twenty, ten or fifteen, maybe. Well, Go Daddy. Yeah, yeah, it just gets bigger. Oh, Every, Big Daddy, yes. Go yes, Daddy, yes, yes. yeah. Go Daddy, Go Daddy's yes. only been around a short Big Daddy. time. I'm Big Daddy. That's Go Daddy. Yes. Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah this year's <laughs> first time advertisers this year. <laughs> Oreo cookies. Now that'll kind be interesting. interested. Yeah, it, I'm I'm a little perplexed. I don't know whether to be excited or. Well, I, or I, disturbed. I'm, well, I mean, yeah, what, what can you do to an Oreo cookie? I uh, mean, dip on it the, in your uh, Anheuser Busch drink. Well, no, I'm just thinking. Okay, uh, no. uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what that one's about. Soda Stream. Yeah, what is that? I don't want my so- my soda coming out of a little machine. I'm I'm just saying. Is that what it is? It's that yep. little machine mm-hmm. that you can make your own home sodas with. Yep, exactly. Research in mm-hmm. motion. I know Rim. One, I'm just saying. Do you? I yeah. have a high regard for them because Smartphone. still to this day. Yeah. I'm 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 in Macy's. I'm at the mall. Anywhere I am, if I hear that chirp chirp, I still, you still get jump. a high. Yeah, still jump. <laughs> it's a chirp chirp. I loved my BlackBerry. I won't lie. Yeah, I'm I'm really interested to see how this is going to affect them. Actually, because yeah, they've one, got the, they're putting a lot of money behind wonderful this. Wonderful pistachios is another advertiser is that, that we're going to see this. Where are they yeah. from? Do we I know? No, I'm I really thinking that know. it would be so cool to have one of our local brands on. Yeah. Research in Motion is going to talk about their new operating system mm-hmm. with their BlackBerry. I know. that's yeah. That I'm excited yeah. about. Yeah, and will the ad convince well, uh, a lot of iPhone have, users? And <laughs> considering I have a cracked face right now. I mean, not my own. I mean, well, yeah, but... Um, no, you do my, have a crack in your face. Yeah, it's called old wrinkles. But my my iPhone has a cracked face. I really wonder if they're going to convince me to go back to my chirp chirp. Yeah. The black Did you know that Super Bowl ads can reverse a company's bad fortune? So if they're having a little rough time, that a Super Bowl Super Bowl ad, it's worth the $4 million dollars it can be. Let's minute. be really. It, yeah, it can be. It if can you be. go splashing four mil out there, or is it four mil? Yeah, yeah four, four million mil. out there, and you don't hit your target market. Yeah, it's. It can also yeah, put it you could out be, of business. Put, yeah, it can yeah. put you bye bye. Online brokerage firm E Trade saw or said that it stated that it saw a thirty two percent increase in new brokerage accounts the week after its two thousand and eight Super Bowl ad. Wow. That's act- yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing. But E Trade, if you think about it, I mean, how many employees does a company like E Trade have? It's all con- it's all driven online yeah. by the driver of the of the computer. Bottom line is, what does it take? Huh. What does it take to get out to get E Trade or what whatever mm-hmm. firm's company. name mm-hmm. top of mind? Well, here's what I think. Yeah. Not that it matters. <laughs> Um, but I think oh, it matters. I, I think that the Super Bowl ads really are dependent on your call to action, yeah. and it it should be beginning a steady campaign going forward. So, for instance, the Budweiser, you know, frogs and lizards and whatnot that yeah. they had in the swamp that was the beginning of that ad campaign, and it went on for months yeah. after the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Now, if you just have your $4 million ad on that day, I just don't see it sticking unless it's already a, a named familiar brand that you're using regularly. It, you know, it might bring some additional, you know, shishi foo to it. But yeah. honestly, it needs to start your campaign, I think. Yeah, careerbuilder.com. Um, the job search website experienced an average 40% year-over-year growth mm-hmm. in invoices and a 23% 
jump in job applications one month after its 2011 Super Bowl ad. With more than 100, and, and this is really interesting, with more than 111 million people tuned in to the 2012 Super Bowl, the most watched program mm. in television history. history. Yep. Wowzers. Sunday Sunday could be another record breaker, I'm just saying. We'll see. Yeah. I'm kind of curious about the Oreos. Advertisers are betting their entire marketing season on this one night. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like people it's 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 like retailers. Oh yeah. betting betting the the farm on what? Christmas. Yeah. You know, the exactly. 3 months prior to. And yeah. this is the beginning of the year. Yeah. And I mean, this has got to push them all year long. Yeah. Very, Should be interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm excited. Also, did you know that economic growth in the fourth quarter declines? It was a 0.1% decline. A little shocking uh, that experts thought that although there was an expectation for growth, but it would be lower than 3.1 gain in the third quarter, the government said this past Wednesday. How much do we think that was affected by the election? Uh, yeah, good question. I mean, I, I really do In other do words, think... the prediction affected by the, by the election or more so the outcome affected by the election? I think their prediction was an election year. After the election's over, things will, you know, we're going to finish off this year well. Uh, and then yes, I think it yes. slumped at the yeah. end due to the fiscal cliff and a lot of things that hung. I think you're onto something. I really do. I, I mean that. I yeah, really, I really do. do think people projected certain things. And then when the election was done and things had not solidified right. i think it made for uncertainty and how, thus the gdp yeah how many times do you do you hear well it's an election year and we'll wait till after a yeah well they uh, waited till after the election year and then they fought some more well, and then you spend <laughs> you spend all that time on the fiscal cliff as well exactly. and it helps to put a huge kink in everyone's hose yeah i just think that that really that was not good for our national economy did you know that that decline was the first decline in gross domestic product since the uh, the 0.3 percent decline in the 2009 third quarter, and we talked a lot last year with Kate in regards to how these employers weren't making decisions mm-hmm. based on the unknown economic um, effect of right. like payroll taxes, etc. And so I think the, the both sides, Dems and Republicans, arguing it out did not sit well. It at didn't all. help. It didn't help. And then also not you pile all. on top the uh, that. That uh, superstorm Sandy that hit the East Coast oh, yeah. had a huge impact on spending. Oh, yeah. Huge totally. impact on spending. Oh. And, you know, to pile on there when you talk about Sandy, that it took that it took Capitol Hill this long to pass any sort of relief, I think, is somewhat of a slap in the face. They just passed something this week. Mm-hmm. What was it? Fifty billion dollars in aid. Mm-hmm. Why did it take so long? Well, because they were too busy getting elected. Oh, my gosh. That's my personal opinion. I know that doesn't sometimes count much. But anyways, moving on. Yeah. Did you know also that 2012 home sales, best in five years. That's Love it. pretty doggone good news. That's you know, awesome. S- steady December home sales capped the best year for the U.S. real estate market in five yeah. years, according to the industry trade group. And I find it interesting yeah. that here locally we might have had a little slump in December, but I don't think nationally we had the same kind of slump. Yeah, I don't. I like don't it, think so. it stayed st- steady and strong. Yeah, the National Host, uh, National Association of Realtors said that December sales of previously owned homes, so that's not new homes, right. but resale, came in just slightly below November sales pace, but up twelve point eight percent from a year ago. That brought full year sales to four point six five million dollars, up nine percent from two thousand eleven, and the best year for home sales since. 2007. No surprise. Uh, when there were just 5 million homes sold just before the start of the recession. Well, and I love that um, CNN reported also that housing starts, which is our uh, new permits for new housing, yeah. was up since, I mean, the best since 08, yeah. which 08 was just, a, I mean, really, truly, that was a tough year for builders. We saw builders going out of business left and right. Yeah, yeah. And so for those housing starts, meaning they're pulling permits nationally all over the country to build new houses and new inventory. I mean, that is just, that's awesome. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Because that puts so many more of our locals and, and our jobs and, and things in place. Back in the mix. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, sales are being helped by a combination of strong market fundamentals, near record low mortgage mm-hmm. rates, which we're going to talk about mortgage rates a little bit later in the show, lower unemployment and a rebound in home prices, all of which are bringing in buyers into the market who had been really sitting on the sidelines mm-hmm. and waiting for it to hit bottom. Mm-hmm. 
just so you know, atención, atenciones. We, we have hit we the bottom. We have hit the bottom last year. <laughs> I feel like the submarine that just kept going down and down and down. Now we we bounced, guys. We bounced. We're on our way back up. Yeah, exactly. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle or myself share with you here on our show. It all starts with one call, and that's a call from you. We'd love to hear from you. Give us a call anytime, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. You can also go online to our website and check out our resources. You can search for your new home at reofresnohomes.com. To friend us on Facebook, use press for keywords. Friend Valley White on Facebook. Or use press for keywords. KMJ call Valley White. To call into our show anytime. Well, coming up, the housing outlook continues to brighten but recovery still faces headwinds and six reasons why housing inventory keeps declining. Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping to redefine real estate here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. Mortgage interest rates are at historic lows, and there's never been a more affordable time to buy real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing property, let the mortgage professionals at Valley White help. Valley White Homes has been helping homeowners with their mortgage needs since 1997. When it comes to the Valley's real estate, we know our way around the neighborhood. Call toll-free, 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valley White Homes to work for you. Valley White Homes, NMLS number 342-062-235-952. California Department of Real Estate License, 0122 have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer at 449-8989. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press for keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete's Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete's Seats. Any ticket, anytime. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's seats, and then there's Pete's Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete's Seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, you know, the housing outlook continues to brighten, but the recovery still faces some potential headwinds. No hey, surprise. Hey, we're going uphill, guys. We are headed in the right direction. That's the great thing. Well, the housing upturn that took root last year is expected to pick up momentum in 2013, but headwinds along a number of fronts could impede the pace of our existing recovery, according to economists speaking at the International Builders Show in Las Vegas recently. Well, there's a lot less builders out there, too, to speak to. <laughs> there were six builders that actually went to this <laughs> that conference. Showed up. Yeah, that, that showed up. So all six of them were encouraged, but it was guarded optimism. Well, I mean, you know. There used to be safety in numbers. There's not that anymore. So, well, yeah, you could have shot a cannon in that in, that, in that ballroom, and, and you wouldn't have hit one of them. Well, they cautioned that uh, builders continue to face several challenges, including a stubbornly tight mortgage lending market um, that include inaccurate appraisals, mm. rising material costs. There's that that commodity yeah, in there, yeah. as well as a declining inventory of potential buildable lots. In now other that's words, interesting. Dirt yeah. or finished dirt. Well, because it's costly. Yeah. For a while there, and and we still locally have quite a few 
subdivisions that haven't been built out that went into foreclosure and mm-hmm. they've changed hands, yeah. etc. But, you know, it's a process to do that. You can't just go out and start building today if you buy a piece of land. Right. There's time, infrastructure, and then you have to work with the governmental entities to get all that set. Sure. So with with the strain on the governmental entities, um, as far as the infrastructure and working with them to get right. your infrastructure mm-hmm. in place, you, you know, it's a time consuming process. It's not something you can easily start. If you didn't have planning in place, yeah. you're, you're kind of sitting on the sidelines. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Yeah. You know, it wasn't until the last, the last year with the subdivision where I live down in Southeast Fresno, it's a Granville subdivision. And it wasn't until the last year that they really started, um, that they had a, a number of finished lots out right. there that they really started breaking ground. Um, and now you see a, a, a pretty aggressive uptick in right. construction. Well, it's in each county, state, you know, community's best interest to get those construction jobs going because sure. those are taxes. Those are all yep. sorts of fees that go to our, all our, sorts of our governmental entities yep. at the same time. That builder has to come up with a lot of cash flow yeah. to do but that. There's still greater concern, though, that uh, really over how much more fiscal tightening is needed to stabilize our current GDP or debt to GDP ratio, along with calls by some policymakers for major changes to the mortgage interest deduction. And mm. all of those threaten to negatively impact consumer confidence and future housing demand. Yeah. We're not out of the woods yet. No, we're and, not. And specifically for builders. And we're going to talk with um, Darius Asemi in a couple of weeks here. He's coming on the show. And we'll talk with him about really just exactly how difficult it has been to be a builder in today's market. And they've got a great product. They really, really do. I'm, I'm a little bit of a... You, you a little fan there, Mr. I'm a, Granville I'm, owner? I'm a Granville fan, <laughs> I have to say. I, they do build a nice product. And honestly... Um, they they are one of the larger builders in the Fresno area. Yeah. So you see them on the north end of town, on the south end of mm-hmm. town, on the west side of town. I mean, yeah. all over, which which is nice. There's a, definitely a diversity in where they build. Yeah. Well, there's. let's take a look at real quick the six reasons why housing inventory keeps declining. Wow. I sold it, it. I just I sold, sold it, guys. I just sold no, it. I'm kidding. <laughs> I just got it into contract. Last week I closed a I couple was, escrows. I, tell me. Tell that's me the why. Way it feels. Well, many homeowners are still underwater. Number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. Analysis more than 10 million, analysis. Yeah, exactly. More, and you are exactly right. I do firmly believe more than 10 million homeowners owe more on their mortgage than mm-hmm. their homes are worth, according to CoreLogic Inc. That pencils out to around. Let me check the math here. Twenty two percent of homeowners with a mortgage or 15 percent of all homeowners since like we were talking on last week's show. Not every homeowner has a mortgage. Underwater owners aren't likely to sell unless they need to move due to mm-hmm. changing life. Mm-hmm. What is that? Marriage, divorce, Job. some type of financial circumstance or hardship. Um, and if they do, they'll potentially take a hit on their credit if they've stopped making that mortgage payment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, though, that's something you've got you've to look at the numbers. Yeah. you got to look at what makes sense, guys. Well, know where you're at, right? Exactly. And most, most folks don't. Uh, most folks don't have, or, or at least a realistic... Uh, perspective in terms of exactly where they're at. Uh, can I? Speak? Yeah. It was so funny the other day. I, can I have. I speak? A, can, can, can I speak, I speak to that? <laughs> the other day I was I was at a birthday party and a friend of a friend of mine just bought a new Chrysler like uh, wagon. Yeah. And it has all the new tech features mm-hmm. and whatnot. And he was driving to Texas, and this made me think of this because he said he would he was using the the um, driving what do you call it the navigation navigation yeah. and it was zeroed in so specifically. But he needed something further out to get a bigger picture on where he was <laughs> right. going. And that's what that comment, you know, the, the, the comment you just made as far as you got to know where you're at to know yep. where you're going to go. Yep. But if you're zeroed in specifically on just your little so dialed in. ecocosm and you don't know how the rest of the world or neighborhood is affecting your ecocosm. Yeah. You you can't make a le- legitimate decision. No. So it's really get that. Get you the can facts, be too Jack. dialed in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. You know, other homeowners don't have enough equity to trade up. Another 10 million homeowners have less than 20% equity in their current residence, meaning they can't easily trade up to move into that next new home. Traditionally, homeowners have relied on home equity to make the down payment on their next home, Mm -hmm. to not have to pay PMI, right? Right, right. Yeah, and to pay their real estate agent to sell their current home. Well, and the the ROI is what I'm going to ask. What's that? I'm going to ask somebody, let's let's calculate your ROI. What's the return on your investment of selling that home? Well, and when did you buy it? When did mm -hmm. you buy it last? How much do you owe on it? What are you able to buy now? Um, Are you looking at moving up to a different area? Let's take a look at all the What's the rate going to be versus the payment? Sure. You know, all those things. Yeah, especially with mortgage rates being so doggone low right now. Oh, yeah. If you're at 8%, we need to be... need to be running the numbers for you. Yeah. Well, everyone wants to buy at the bottom, but few homeowners want to sell at the bottom. 
No, really? Yeah, hello. Don't get me started. <laughs> even, those, even those folks that do have plenty of equity are reluctant to sell. They think the prices will be higher tomorrow. Yeah. Well, it's they, you know, they're going to be higher tomorrow. I, I'm going to tell you right now. They will. Would but you sell your take... largest asset today? Here's if my you concern. Knew, Here's potentially. my concern. My concern with folks is if you're waiting for 10 percent equity to pop up in the next month or two, yeah. don't plan on it. Right, right. It's not happening. We've got a little calculator. If you want to call into the show, or we'll email, send it to yeah, you. call into the show. We'll email you 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. We'll email you that little equity calculator. You can play with it. It's just a simple Excel spreadsheet. Exactly. Yeah. What's the estimate What's, of value? Mm-hmm. You plug in your mortgage balance at 3% or 5% or whatever it is, appreciation. And the thing I think is really humorous, people yeah. don't realize while you're sitting there waiting for the equity to grow, you're still paying interest. You're still paying yeah, payments. Sure. It's That's not, not going like, to go away. That doesn't go no. away. That's right. Yeah. More Now, another reason, more purchasers from investors of all types. Totally agree. Yeah. From investment groups. Real estate invest, investment trusts. Right. Yep. To the... To Foreign the, investors. To the Mr. Joe down the street who just wants to have one rental in yeah. his portfolio. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Tons exactly. of investors out there. And banks have been slower at foreclosing. Now, I'm not surprised. Well, they, they've got a little bit of a caution yeah. going right now. The yield sign has been put out saying, <laughs> hey, stop doing illegal activities. Let's make sure we're doing the things right. Right. Something tells me when you get, when you get a certified letter from a state's attorney general, you tend to, uh, tend to get your notice. Yeah, mm-hmm. Slow mm-hmm. down. Exactly. Um, and builders have been putting up fewer homes. Yeah. Severely depressed, they said, from 09 to 11. Yeah. And we just started seeing some traction. So that's exciting. Yeah. Many of these factors that have been dragging down inventory aren't signs of a normal or healthy housing market. You know, did Ben call about that? Yeah. He hasn't, has he? He has not called us to no, tell us we're back, he in, hasn't. We're okay. back in the norm. Yeah. There, what is the norm? Well, this is the new normal. The new this norm. Is the quirky, this is the new normal. Quirky new normal. Hmm. Did you also know Wells Fargo? <laughs> Wells Fargo typically doesn't have a very good re- reputation of being easy to work with. Yeah, well, the banking giant, best known for its decade-old stagecoach marketing campaign. I think sometimes yeah. my docs are on those What's stagecoach. What's that? Your what? The docs. Your are on docs are on that stagecoach because it's taking so long. It's taking so long it. sometimes. Sometimes, it not always. It's taking so to... long to get from Oklahoma City out that's to right. the West Coast. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's a 18-day. Right. Uh, Evidently, the train isn't working and we're on the stagecoach. <laughs> so we're just going to, the next most reliable thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, they've joined, Wells Fargo has joined Keep Your Home California's principal reduction program, which offers homeowners as much as, take note here, $100,000 to reduce their mortgage principal and their monthly payments. I was talking to a good friend at the gym this morning. Oh, uh, yesterday morning, excuse me. And he said, uh, yeah, he's got a number of rental properties, and he was talking about for years he was unable to get anyone to talk with him, on any rentals. of the servicers on mm-hmm. these rentals. But guess what? He goes, um, quite a few of them are with Bank of America. He goes, now the doggone lady won't stop calling me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't need her help, but you won't leave me alone. No, he says, uh, he says I'm, you know, I, I, I tell her, I'm working on getting all the paperwork together. There's multiple investors involved in the transaction, and he wants to get them modified. I said, did you ask them about principal reduction? <laughs> really? Yeah. I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. you got to ask the question, you know what? especially nowadays. Yeah. And I, if you've gotten a principal reduction set up with your bank, I would love to hear from you. Yeah. Uh, we've had a few people talk to us about it, but but not the widespread numbers we would think Yeah. from all this publication of this well, information. Well, it's either that or all the smoke and mirrors that we keep hearing from Bank of America, Chase, mm. Citibank, yeah, um, yeah, Ally. When Ben calls, I'm asking about, about that, too. Yeah. Well, Wells Fargo joins other several other major banks, including Bank of America and Chase, that are participating in this principal reduction program. Wow. Up hmm. to. Now, Keep Your Home California has set aside about $772 million for principal reduction program, enough to help almost 9,000 homeowners in the state. $500 million is still available, so homeowners are encouraged to uh, apply while plenty of funds mm-hmm. are still available. Facebook us or call us and yeah, we can exactly. uh, get you the link. KeepYourHomeCalifornia.org. Mm-hmm. Yep. Interesting. Good deal. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle or myself share with you on our show, it all starts with one call. That's one call from you, not you, Michelle. Yeah, no, I call you all the time. You're already here. I I keep getting voicemail. Yeah. Voicemail, voicemail. (laughs) Well, I resemble that remark. Well, call us anytime, (laughs) 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. We'd love to hear from you. You also can go online to our website. Check out our resources online at reofresnohomes.com. That's reofresnohomes.com. To friend us on Facebook, if you'd like to be our friend, use 
Press 4 keywords. Friend Valley Wide on Facebook. Or use Press 4 keywords. KMJ, call Valley Wide. To call into the show anytime. We need to hear from you. Exactly. Well, calling all first time home buyers, just how much are entry level homes selling for relatively in California? And what are the moving habits of Californians? Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping to redefine real estate here on 1059, the FM KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. All it takes is one call to the professionals at Valleywide Homes, and you'll start building wealth in real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing investment property, let the experts at Valleywide Homes help. There's never been a better time to get into the real estate market. Visit our website at reofresnohomes.com or call toll-free 800-979-3958. That's 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals of Valleywide Homes to work for you. Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer at 449-8989. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press for keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete Seats. Any ticket, any time. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's seats, and then there's Pete Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete Seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, calling all first-time homebuyers, Michelle. Good. Have them call. Yeah. I'm working with a, a ton of them right got now. Got a special on uh, aisle eight. That's our blue light special. <laughs> really? On what do you got eight. on aisle eight for these folks? About 1,108 listings currently. That's all. Okay, that's not a very, uh, I'm not, not very proud of you right that's now. Not that's a not lot. much to offer. Those will be gone in 45 days. Pretty much. I'm just saying. They yeah. will be. We're calling all first-time homebuyers. You know, so if you're ready to buy your first home, how much are entry-level homes in the, let's say, the different areas of California, and how much do you need to qualify for a home loan? And what can you expect your approximate monthly mortgage payment to be? Let's take a look at California as a whole. Well, entry-level price for a single-family home, on average, is $288,880. That sounds high for that, Fresno it, that, County. Well, that's California as a whole, so, so that's just, not Fresno County. Yeah, so that's we're including average. San Diego, right. Los Angeles, San Francisco. Average sales Napa. price for, <laughs> for Fresno County, uh-huh. um, as of last quarter of this last year, was roughly about $165,000. Okay, that yeah. sounds about right. Yeah. So it's about hundred grand less. Yeah, about a hundred grand less. Nice. Monthly payment, including taxes and insurances. Let's talk talk about that average for California. Average sales price two eighty eight eight eighty. Okay. Um, average monthly mortgage payment thirteen hundred and ninety dollars. Now, what? Okay, including taxes and insurance. Uh, I think that's low. I think that's principal and it's got to be principal and interest. Now, this is put out by the California Association of Realtors. No, no, it does say including taxes and insurance. No, including taxes and wow. insurance. Awesome, that, possible. That it might not low. have your mortgage insurance, but it does have your insurance. And minimum qualifying income would be roughly, approximately forty one thousand six hundred and forty dollars. If you don't have any debt. If you don't have any debt, yeah. <laughs> you have to have no debt though. <laughs> uh, can I see a show of hands? Uh, how many of you don't <laughs> First have time debts? Do not create oh, debt. That's nobody. Yeah, yeah please. Even if it's just a well, first of all, you have to have a couple credit cards just to qualify. Because I get that, but at the same time, don't go buy a new car and say, "Woohoo, I qualify for a house now." Yeah, no. L.A. Metro area average sales price 
two sixty six nine eighty. Average hmm. monthly mortgage mortgage payment based upon that purchase price twelve hundred eighty dollars. Mm-hmm. Principal and interest, taxes and insurance. And how much income would you need to? This is gross income in order to qualify thirty eight thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. Now let's take a look at San Francisco. Kind of partial to San Francisco. Love the area. My wife and I love to travel up there. Average sales price four eighty two eight thirty four hundred and eighty two thousand eight hundred. We say dollars. ouch and yeah. we go eek. But it's only been a couple of years since our regular houses here. Yeah, we're, we're 480. Asking, yeah, exactly. So the guy across that. the street paid 475. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. 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 Monthly monthly mortgage payment two thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. Seems reasonable. Well, yeah. I mean, cost of living we all know is higher in that area. Exactly. A lot less real estate. So that's it's where the Niners live, moment. right? Isn't that what? I mean, <laughs> that's I'm just the saying. Nin- that's where that's, the Niners that's live. where the Niners hail from. <laughs> certainly. An income that you would need to qualify for that two thousand three hundred twenty dollar mortgage is sixty nine thousand six hundred dollars. So you don't have to be a Niner. No. Well, you don't. Yeah, you, don't you don't have to make Niner money. That's, <laughs> that's for right, sure. That's right. Well, we were talking before the break. Also, we were talking about California love. You know, do folks really love to live in California? Whether you're moving to California for the first time or just relocating to another county. One thing remains clear. When people move <laughs> to this land of sunshine and opportunity, right, that's what Johnny said in the break. No, that's not the case. No, they're all I'm, moving out of California. Yeah, they're happy to stay here. They're no, happy to stay here not. and pay their taxes. They're going to Oregon. They're becoming Oregonians, Arizonians, Las Vegasians. I mean, Hawaiian. They're yeah. becoming other things. <laughs> Yeah, when when, the, when people are moving within California. Oh, within California. Yeah, with, well, no, we're not talking me. about the in three thousand plus who leave every month. Yeah, in two thousand eleven, forty nine percent move outside the U- U.S. <laughs> <laughs> well. You know, we are a melting pot. It's just another, like home. <laughs> ni- yeah, oh, wow. 19% move to another county in California. So 20% move to another county. Cali- First of all, 49%. You know, they're all they're all moving to... 20% move to another county. 49% move, move ma- to another country? They move to Finland. <laughs> Corporate tax, 17%. So what is all the talk about up. all this... Uh, Immigration stuff. If we got forty nine percent of the movers, twenty percent move to another state. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Outside the U.S., forty nine percent. So just so you know, if you decide to pack it up, there's only a twenty percent chance that you're moving to another county. Well, and and, and the good part is, you know, you need medical attention. You need something. You it's, can always come back. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wow. just teasing. Wow. I mean, really, truly? Okay. Isn't that what the news was talking about this Well, week? all I can say is Johnny was saying before the break, I, he, <sighs> he was saying, so what is it? And it's people are moving outside of the – if people are moving outside of the state. And I heard a story a couple years back of some folks that had been fed up because of the tax rate in mm-hmm. California and said, you know what? We're not doing it anymore. Well – And they had a lot to lose. Even corporations Billions. set up their LLCs in other states. Delaware. I mean, great Delaware. state to incorporate. Yeah, yeah, Nevada. I mean, there's mm-hmm. other places to be, that are more economical, and that's why people do it. Yeah, you know, as of late, also, let's talk mortgage rates. Did you know that interest rates, as of late, have been climbing? Yep. Well, there's, okay. Climbing? Yeah. To me, climbing is like a point. <laughs> okay. Inching? Inching? Milli, yeah, millimeters? Slightly? I mean, where are we at? Right, right. Well, we the sudden rise in interest what? rates, yeah. It, it, we, we saw recently a sudden rise in interest rates to a nine-month high. Well, now that doesn't... Nine-month yeah, high. Yeah. Hey. We're at a 65-year low. Yeah. Do they know that? The, uh, now okay. we're at a nine-month high? Yeah, still below 4%. Oh, is okay. still good. Okay. Yeah, still good. But that could change if Congress resolves the financial crisis hanging over our markets. <laughs> and keep in mind, let's make sure that everybody understands. Negative, negative media helps to perpetuate and helps to keep what? Helps to keep rates low. It keeps rates low. It keeps consumer confidence low. Yeah. It keeps people paralyzed and not making decisions. Yeah. So if you want to see mortgage rates yeah. low, mm-hmm. you know, keep looking for negative information. That's if the stock ridiculous. market drops, I'm just saying you. Wow, what gosh. you then see is that flight or that flee to safety, which is bonds. Mm-hmm. Which helps to keep mortgage rates low. Well, it's flight or fight. Nobody's fighting around here. Fight so. or flight. Yeah. yeah. Fright, fright or flight? No, flight. Flight or flight? Fight. <laughs> oh, heavens. Moving oh, on. Oh, my God. You're killing me, Schmalz. Yeah. So expect that as we see this market slowly but surely turn around. And I say this market as we say our national market slowly but surely turn around. And the economy begins, begins to heat up. Once we get through all this fiscal cliff and our credit rating nationally as far as the government's concerned, and if it does or doesn't get downrated and downgraded, and, and um, do we... 
again, kick the can down the road with regards to the fiscal cliff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, you know, as we hear more positive news, then what we can expect to see is that mortgage rates are going to continue to rise. And don't forget Hillary running for office. Yeah, four more years. Yeah, four more she years. denied it this last week on 60 Minutes. Yeah. But, we uh, all know it's a farce. I don't it's know. It's a farce. Somebody said she lies every time she opens her mouth. Change, change is a coming. Isn't that what they say? I think, change I is think a coming. So. I think so. Should be interesting. Yeah, it will be interesting. I, I guarantee you that. It'll be interesting. <laughs> I just don't like those glasses she's got right at the moment. Well, she can't see. Well, she, she, can't, she should she be able can't to see. She can't see the forest for the trees. She shouldn't be able to see anything <laughs> with those little bottle tops because those things. Oh, I tell you what, Lord, that's, that's funny. Yeah. Not so much. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that we share with you on our show, give us a call, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. We'd love to get you in on the conversation. You can also check out our resources online. Go to our website, reofresnohomes.com. That's reofresnohomes.com. And you can search for your next new home. To friend us on Facebook. Use press four keywords. Friend Valley White on Facebook. Or use press four keywords. KMJ call Valley White. To call into us. That's really what we're talking about right here. That's what this is all about. Well, coming up, if you have less than perfect credit, how hard is it to qualify for a mortgage these days? And what is the lowest down payment available for a mortgage loan if I'm looking to buy a home? Also, is now a good time to buy vacant land? Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping to redefine real estate here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. Mortgage interest rates are at historic lows, and there's never been a more affordable time to buy real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing property, let the mortgage professionals at Valley White help. Valley White Homes has been helping homeowners with their mortgage needs since 1997. When it comes to the Valley's real estate, we know our way around the neighborhood. Call toll-free, 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valley White Homes to work for you. Valley White Homes, NMLS number 342062-235952, California Department of Real Estate License, 01228460. Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer at 449 89 89. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press four keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete's Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete's Seats any ticket, any time. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's seats, and then there's Pete's Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, Michelle, Sharon from Fresno. Sharon contacted the show Mm -hmm. and asked, if you have less than perfect credit, or a less than perfect credit score, I might say, how hard is it to get a mortgage these days? And I think Sharon has about 27,000 cousins who've also called. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because it's a common, they're common all question. Relate. They're all relates. Yeah. yeah. No, no offense, Sharon, but there's a lot of people with that question right now. I'm meeting with somebody later today with that question. Yeah. And what interest rates are you likely to pay? Well, keep in mind, you know, this is actually this actually could be a long conversation, but we don't have that much time for a long conversation. Depends upon the mortgage product. Mm-hmm. Okay. FHA um, requires no minimum credit score, but each of the investors that you might 
uh, try to get pre-approved with does have a minimum threshold. Uh, what you see commonly in the mortgage market, it's a 640 middle credit score, or which is the lowest middle credit score of both borrowers if there's multiple borrowers, or just one, uh, or just the middle credit score if there's just one, excuse me. Um, some lenders will go lower than that, but the pricing increases. In other words, it gets, it gets a little more expensive. And then you've got conventional financing. Conventional financing is typically higher than FHA financing in terms of rate. And the lower the credit score and the higher the loan to value, the higher the rate. Right. Okay. Right. Um, VA financing, about the same as FHA financing. We're down in the, the mid to high, uh, say mid threes right at the moment, three and a half with an APR of about 3.75 mm-hmm. or 3.8. Mm-hmm. Under four, though. Yeah, still under 4%. Still under 4%. Yeah. 65 year lows. And with most running. of those lenders, for FHA and VA, 640 is the minimum credit score. That's that's what I would say is more the industry sta- standard. Does it mean that, you know, let's, let's, I get this question all the time as well. If you've got an 800 credit score, will it make my interest rate any better? Not if it's FHA or VA. Mm-mm. It, it really it won't. Really, it's, it's either Con- pass or fail. Yeah, it's either pass or fail, exactly. Conventional financing, differently though. Higher the credit score, mm-hmm. higher the loan to value, you typically get a, get a significant break as far right. as your interest rate's concerned. Right. But risk is always pressed, uh, priced into a mortgage transaction in today's market. A um, couple other things that I think are major to keep in mind. Uh, the number of years that have elapsed since a short sale or foreclosure, mm-hmm. okay, um, as well the number of years that have elapsed from a bankruptcy and do also you have reestablished credit since the bankruptcy was discharged. All important things that you need to take into consideration. Um, and everyone's situation is different. So totally you different. have to, you really have to do, you, you've got to, again, not start by let's drive and go look at the property. Let's start by having the conversation mm-hmm. with your lender. If you don't know one, we can put you in contact with one. If you do know one, if you do have a lender, great. But everything is full doc. You must verify two years, at least two years of employment. You must verify all of your cash to close. It must be sourced. Where did it come from and seasoned at least six days? Paper trail. Let's be be, be clear. It's got to have a paper trail. For some of our first-time homebuyers, they don't quite understand what that means. It means it needs to be deposited in the bank for a time. Yep. And it needs to, you have to show where it came from originally. You can't have it stuffed under the couch. Yeah, can't for, can't be at home. And bring it to the bank yeah. to, used to pay be your accept- down payment. It doesn't yeah. work that way. It used to be acceptable right. to have cash at home. Mm-hmm. What's the lowest down payment available? This is Anthony from Fresno. What's the lowest down payment available for any type of loan out there? Well, guess what? That is, there's two types of products out there. VA financing, that's Veterans Administration Financing, or USDA, U.S. Department of Agriculture Financing, which targets rural areas outside the major metropolitan areas. They are both 100% financing. So that means that on your purchase price of 200000 you have to put no money down towards the purchase price. You will still have what's called closing costs or non-recurring closing costs and prepaids. Uh, that you do, you cannot finance, that you do have to come in with. But nonetheless, zero down payment, just have to pay your closing costs and prepaids. Mm-hmm. And um, you may be able to get the seller to contribute some of that. The seller, as well as the lender, could potentially contribute some of that. And last question comes from Fred in Clovis. Fred wants to know, is now a good time to buy vacant land? You want, I have a mentor who told me one time. Go for it. Actually, ten times. <laughs> ten times. At least ten times. And it was the it's same thing. It's a good thing. time to buy when you can afford to buy. Yep. And it makes dollars and cents to buy. Mm-hmm. So why are you buying the land? What is it for? What's its purpose? Long term, short term, etc. cetera. Mm-hmm. Look at located? all the pros and cons. Meet yep. with your agent. Make sure you're not paying higher than market value. But if you can afford to buy vacant land and it meets with your roadmap to success, then yeah, it's a great time to buy vacant land. Right. Is the is the intent is your game plan? You're gonna you want to build a house eventually mm-hmm. at some point. Um, you know, it, everybody's wants and needs are going to be different, right. and it's important to take that into consideration. The other thing that's important to note is, in most instances, the most the most equitable or the most um, how should I say the 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 least priciest way is paying cash. Absolutely, because well, raw land, raw undeveloped land. You're going to find that most lenders, it's going to be either private money, mm-hmm. um, you know, a little higher interest rate, yeah, on a little that. higher interest rate, and fifty percent loan to value right. at best. Right. Yeah. Right. But you know, be be sure to consult a, a representative from a, a realtor, our realtor association, before you go buying vacant land. Yeah. To tell them what your plan is to make yeah. sure that land meets for the long term requirements, sure. because there may some be some other plan for that land or that, that area of about. town. Right that the city or county has decided upon, and you've got to make sure that you're meeting those requirements. 
Very true. Great, great questions. You know, again, if you have any real estate or mortgage related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle or myself share with you on our show today, we'd love to hear from you. It, it really does help when we get that one call. And that one call starts with you. Call us anytime, 800 979 3958. Again, that's 800 979 3958. We'd love to hear from you. You can also go to our website. You can play around, search for your new home, check out our resources, go to um, reofresnohomes.com. Again, that's reofresnohomes.com. To friend us on Facebook, use press for keywords. Friend of Valley White on Facebook. Or use press for keywords. AMJ call Valley White. To call into us anytime, we'd love to hear from you guys. We'd, we love those listener questions. Helps to stir up some good thought, right? Well, I, they keep me thinking. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> a special thank you to Michelle pettis my special guest host. Michelle is a licensed realtor with Valley Online Homes. Love having you, kid. Thanks. You know what? Enjoy your day today. Holding your grandbaby and watching the game and Meeting drinking some coffee. And, yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <Meeting with clients. laughs> you know, our goal at the Real Estate Radio Network is to get you, our listeners, the timely and accurate truth about your local real estate market so we can help bring you back home. Don't forget to tune into the Real Estate Radio Network next Sunday at 7 a.m. on 105.9, the FM KMJ local news, local talk. Make sure you make sure you have a great day, Central Valley, and we will see you next week. The preceding program was paid for by the Real Estate Radio Network.